What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This is iOS 14.5 beta. We've already talked about it a little bit, but we're going to talk about it a little bit more because it looks like Apple is really working on finalizing the ability to set a default music app besides the stock music app. So what is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This is iOS 14.4 public version right here. Watch what happens when I invoke Siri and I ask Siri to play some music. Obviously, it's going to play via the stock music app, right? So it does that, but I can also ask Siri, of course, to play music via Spotify. And it'll do just that. So if I specify Spotify specifically within the query, then it'll play that song, or in this case, since I don't have a paid Spotify account, it'll create a radio station inspired by the song I requested. So it does just that. You can see in the now playing interface, it's going to show Spotify. You can see that in the upper left-hand corner and also in the bottom right-hand corner of the album artwork. And that's, that's nice, right? Being able to play music from a specific app is great, but the problem is you actually have to specify the app that you want to use. It's not going to default like it does the music app. So let me show you an example of that right now. I'm just going to ask Siri to play a song and not specify where I want it to play it. It's going to default to the stock music app, as you can see right here. But wouldn't it be nice if you could set your own default music app? Because you can already do that for the browser and for the mail app in iOS 14. A couple of examples here in the settings app for Chrome, you can actually set Chrome as your default browser if you choose to do that. So that's one really big change that Apple has made in iOS 14. There's another big change though, and that relates to the mail app. So you can also set a default mail app, of course, in iOS 14, so I can change from mail to Gmail if I wanna do that. But unfortunately, if you go into Spotify, for instance, there is no setting to establish Spotify as the default music app. At least not yet, that is. But in iOS 14.5 beta, we're starting to see some groundwork being laid to establish a default music playing app. Watch what happens when I ask Siri to play music. Look at that. Yeah, it's not just automatically defaulting to Apple Music. No, it sees all the eligible apps that I have on my device. And it's asking me to pick one of those apps to use to play back the requested song. So you can literally see at the bottom of the display, which app would you like to use? And then I can simply tap on the app that I want to use to play back that requested song. Now, obviously this thing needs a little bit of work because you see several podcast apps thrown in there. So when I'm requesting a song, obviously a podcast app isn't gonna be able to play uh, a top 10 pop album, for instance. It's not gonna even recognize that. Uh, so Apple does have some work to do in that regard as far as cleaning up this menu to only present eligible apps in other words, apps that are actually capable of playing back what you're requesting. So obviously Apple Podcast or Castro or Pocket Cast or Books aren't going to be able to play back a top 10 pop album, for instance. So let's go ahead and tap on Spotify here. And then you'll see it simply plays back that song. Or in this case, it'll play back music based on the song since I'm not a Spotify premium customer. But if I was a paid Spotify user, it would play that song directly that I requested. But here you can see Spotify is playing back a song that is related to the song I requested. And that's all good. But here's what's really exciting about this whole thing. I'm going to request another song. And in this query, I have not specified the app that I want iOS to use to play back this song. Watch what happens. Series, so take it a little bit. Just be patient here. And look. I did not specify Spotify, but iOS automatically knew that since I requested the prior song using Spotify to go ahead and make Spotify default, basically to go ahead and send that query to Spotify. And this is what you get. So I did not say, Hey, you know who play this song on Spotify. I just simply said, Hey, you know who play this song and it automatically played on Spotify. That's super cool. A long time coming. I know a lot of people are going to be super happy about this, especially if you don't subscribe to Apple Music. I mean, this just makes things so much easier and it'll work with other apps besides Spotify, like Pandora, for instance. So speaking of Pandora, let's go ahead and request 
a song to play back via Pandora. Now I'm gonna actually specify Pandora, and this is how you would go about, at least at this juncture, specifying another default music streaming app. So you would basically say, hey, play this app, or I'm sorry, play this song via Pandora, and then it would play via Pandora, and then each subsequent request should automatically, in theory, go to Pandora, the last thing you requested. So you can see iOS did submit that query to Pandora, it created a radio station based on my request, and it's playing right now. Unfortunately, iOS 14.5 is still quite buggy. So when I ran the request again without specifying a, a particular app, it did present me with the app selector, um, which I don't know why, because last time I picked Pandora, yet now it's asking me to pick again. And again, you're seeing all those uh, various podcast apps thrown in there as well. But nonetheless, I did go ahead and choose Pandora again. And when I run a query again, it automatically routes to Pandora like it should. It doesn't actually bring up that little list of eligible apps. So here you can see playing via Pandora. I did not specify Pandora with this query and yet it opened it because it recognized that, you know, you know, last time you used Pandora, so you must want this query to use Pandora. That is how it works in iOS 14.5. Now I'll actually go ahead and make another request using another app. I'll use Deezer this time. And it is playing just to, I just asked it to play music via Deezer and it played because I'm not a paid Deezer, Deezer user. So I'm not going to be able to specify a particular song to play back. But again, now you see that bug again, making itself known because now I didn't specify a particular app and notice the little app selector comes up again. So it is a little bit finicky. It's not perfect. Still a work in progress, obviously. Uh, it seems to be a little bit more reliable in the second uh, beta release. Actually not the second, but the updated 14.5 beta with the new build number but it's still very buggy and that's okay. I mean, it's a beta for a reason. They're still testing out this functionality. Who knows exactly when this new functionality will be rolled out, hopefully soon. Uh, and hopefully we'll actually have a menu where we can go in and specify um, via settings what our default music playing app is. So what's interesting is that Spotify is now set as my default because that's the last query I use. And then I just asked it to play nine to five Mac happy hour, which is a podcast. And since Spotify hosts podcast, it went ahead and played nine to five Mac happy hours, latest episode. So I just thought that was pretty neat. And here's another little tip. If you set uh, airplay to destination, you can actually output that song from your default app using Siri to your AirPlay 2 destination. I know it's probably obvious to most people, but I just thought that was something uh, to make note of is that if you have a default music playing app, you set Spotify, for instance, if you set an output to an AirPlay 2 destination, it'll of course automatically play to that AirPlay 2 destination based on your query. So what do you think about this functionality so far? Do you like the way it's been implemented? Do you think Apple should keep it this way? Or do you think there should definitely be a menu to set your preferred music playing app. Let me know down below in the comments section. Are you excited about this? And if so, what app do you plan to use as your default? I'm assuming most people will say Spotify if they're not already Apple Music subscribers. Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.